G'day and welcome to another episode of Mr. Code's Steam Podcast. If you have a 3D printer, then you've probably wondered what the difference is between all the different kinds of filament. Well, today I am testing out every single type of 3D printing filament from the eSun range. First up is the eSun PLA Plus filament. Now, most people who use FDM 3D printers uh, like the Ender or Adventurous series of printers will be familiar with PLA. It is a hard plastic that is easy to print while also being biodegradable. eSun says their PLA Plus filaments are 10 times stronger than standard PLA, and it has no wire drawing problems, meaning that the surface of the printouts will be much smoother and more delicate. When I tested the PLA Plus filament, I found that they do make for some really smooth prints, and there is also a noticeable uh, reduction in stringing and wisping in places that you'd expect, like on the spines of this Pokemon. I printed Grengar at 0.2mm layer height and at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, and it looks fantastic. I also tried printing this astronaut model at a slightly lower temperature of 190 degrees, and it is still just as smooth. Next up is ABS. The eSun ABS Plus filaments are extremely durable, lightweight alternatives to PLA. ABS can withstand heat and stress without cracking or weakening, making it great for practical prints like pipe joints or building materials. It is also more resistant to chemicals, which makes it better for sanding and painting. Now, ABS is a notoriously difficult filament to work with because you need to also heat up your print bed to around 100 degrees Celsius and preferably use a temperature controlled enclosure. However, I was able to print these Raspberry Pi cases on my uh, Adventurer 3 without a heated enclosure. And as you can see, the result is a silky smooth print with no noticeable warping. Testing out 3D printers can take a long time, so if you are finding this video helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue to make technology videos, so I thank you in advance. The eSun PETG filaments are stronger than regular PLA, having similar properties to that of ABS, without the common printing issues that come from ABS. PETG filaments can also come in these beautiful translucent colors to allow some light to pass through. I love printing with PETG because you can use pretty much the same printing settings as PLA, except for increasing the print nozzle temperature to a minimum of 230 degrees Celsius. However, if you want to paint your models, then you're probably better off using ABS because paint doesn't stick really well to PETG. Also, if you want to keep that translucent finish, then make sure you experiment with different printing temperatures, or you might find that the material will get fogged up by tiny bubbles. The e-silk filaments contain additives to give a glossy and slightly transparent appearance when printed. These were the first filaments that I tested for my Octolapse tutorial because I was looking for really good looking models to do my time lapses for and I was blown away by how beautiful these finishes are. And as an added bonus, these filaments printed perfectly on both my Ender and Adventurer printers with standard PLA settings. You can see on this gold vase that the sheen is gorgeous and when the light shines through, there is this blend of rich oranges and yellows that mimic real gold. The copper filament is the only filament that I found more difficult to work with as it tended to form clumps if the nozzle temperature is too low. Make sure that you increase your temperature for this one on larger prints. My personal favorite is the rainbow filament which transitions between a range of metallic colors. As with all color changing filament, the exact color transitions you'll get will vary from model to model. So make sure you choose a model size and a infill percentage that gives the filament a chance to cycle through the different colors at your preferred rate. 
Before we talk about the exotic filaments, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, JCAR. When it comes to 3D printing, our school is always reaching out to the experts at JCAR. They are the leading DIY electronics retailer in Australia and New Zealand with over 110 stores. So if you're in Australia or New Zealand and you want to buy 3D printing supplies like all of the eSun filament shown in this video, then make sure you check out their range and visit the JCAR website or pop into a store near you. The eSun exotic filaments are a range of special PLA based filaments with various textures, finishes and color changing properties. Each one of them really deserve their own category because they're so different from each other. First up is the wood filament. This exotic filament melts like plastic but when it cools down it retains this rough texture that feels just like sanded wood. It is a real paradox because you know that just a moment ago it was molten plastic. I printed this Groot model and the result speaks for itself. It looks just like it was carved from a block of wood. The aluminium filament prints with a very similar result to the e-silk range which is a good thing but in my mind I hope that the finish would be more lustrous however that's probably unrealistic expectation. The result is a metallic pewter looking model which would probably look best if you treated it with some acetone smoothing. This Colossus model had some slight errors on the chin due to lack of support but otherwise the model looks great. The Millennium Falcon or should I say Aluminium Falcon highlights some of the stringing issues that can occur on more detailed prints. Our final exotic filament test is this glow in the dark filament. Using this filament is probably the most fun I've had with my 3D printer. The finish is this translucent white plastic with a tinge of green but once it absorbs some light it also glows in the dark. I printed this Mario star using this filament with 20% infill and you can see how the lattice inside of the model shows through when it is glowing giving this pixelated effect. I also found this material to be the perfect finisher to add some glowing teeth to my Gengar Pokemon model. And that's it from me today. What do you think of the eSun filament? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.